So have you have you ever seen anything here? No, not myself. No. no. The, the other lad upstairs, no. who's on the counter, I asked yeah. him, and he said um, nothing. He says he won't work doing the games. Right. He says he's being a bit too scared. No. Downstairs. Oh, okay. Well, we've got an hour to take a look at everything. We'll, check, we'll check it out. Is it big down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's massive. Yeah, yeah. By the looks of it. Think, yeah. <laughs> Let's get lost then, Jas. So we just go down this way? Yeah, straight down and then we'll go to the flight stairs. Down again. Yeah, straight down and then we'll do the next flight and go down. Yeah. Anyway. So it's one, it's one way system going around. It goes around a big loop. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Come on, we've always got to look at yeah, you. Yeah. It's just fucking that stuff. It's just Christmas decorations. Which way are we going? Keep going down. Oh well, yeah. It's a one-way system apparently. So we're in a cave system, man. That's mad. This could be our first cave we've ever done. There'll probably be nothing original there, will there? Yeah, all this sandstone's original. Oh yeah, all that's original, but I mean, I think the artifacts and stuff won't be. Just watch your step, man. See, there's water, there's actual water there, like a water and all. Yeah. There's actual water in it. Proper wells, look. Look at all that money. Is it, did you hit yourself? Did you? For more than fucking hit myself. Grazed? I cut myself. No, there's no blood. No. Anyway, we have turned up to Nottingham, Nottingham Caves in Nottingham. First time we've ever come here. We've literally just made our way down. We're in this entire system on our own. We are literally just having a stroll through, seeing what you know we can find along our ways. Um, we did talk to one of the security guards back at the um, at, at the Gallery of Justice, just down the road, and he said he would he wouldn't come down here because he fears whatever lies you know lies beneath these haunt the haunted city of Nottingham. But people used to live down here back in the day. So me and Griff, we're going to stroll through, we're going to call there, we're going to do the usual um, and see what we can find. It is quite low, I mean, Griff has just grazed his head, but hopefully, you know, we don't get any more injuries. But it's pretty cool, you know, it's it's pretty cool just to have a free roam around, isn't injuries. it? Injuries. Well, hopefully you don't get any injuries. I, mean, I reckon you could right. kill yourself. Kill? Yeah, imagine hitting your head on the rock, then falling hitting your head on another yeah. rock. You could die, die down here all day. So yeah, we, um, we're going to flip you around. And I suppose we're just going to get, hopefully, just get I'm lost, aren't we? Look at them steel bars. Did you put my head on them? I know. Oh, my, my, my light's just been hit and all. So we've literally got no plan. So these cave systems are made out of sandstone. Yeah, that's dangerous as fuck, man. You need a helmet down here. Stay, look at it. Hear that? It'd be a train, money. It'd be something over there. Or a metro or something. That's any good. Cesspit. That's what my mum and dad used to say I used to live in when I was younger. Get out of your cesspit. What do you think they used to do? Throw people down here? I don't know because that bit's fake. That bit's fake there. That the light's on. Yeah. But it's like water's clear and that, isn't it? Is a good sound? It's just probably trains. Oh much. yeah, a million percent. Oh, the little lives. It's wrong, man. It's like. Oh shoot! Is that a bed? 
or a chair or something. It looks like a, a, an end of a settee, yeah. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Think of how many people's hands are beyond them. Me too. Feeling them and touching them. Oh no. It's mental that they had to cave all this out, isn't it? Apparently it's natural formations. Is it? Apparently so. It's like some of it was just left. I know. I do like it. I can feel my, see my breath. Oh, there's a skull over there. Skull's there. Sheep or something. A big one? No, it's a shoe. Be an horse or a cow. Ugh. Stay this cave I made for me. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Oh no. Can get your legs through. Can get you first off. Just do the limber. You'll be fine. Oh, see, there's foundations all down there. Oh no. That's what they said though, isn't they? This leads under many shops. Oh, well, there's a sitting place here. I mean, that's all real. <laughs> it looks fake. It looks like they've just kind of. Yeah, um, it's like they've, they've, they've set it in. They've just. Plonk, it's like a set. It's like a fake entrance or something. <laughs> and look, the bricks just sitting on top of here. And then you got the top and then bit. You got the actual bit where the, that's being used nowadays. Is this behind the scenes of the caves? I think we've been lied to, Jace. This is uh, something else. Oh, a clacker. Oh, here we go. That's it. That can't be it. Is that it? That's it. What's there? I feel like I just seen something down the corridor as well. Is that the tunnels? No, it's all there either. There's nothing here. Well, apparently, Jace, it's the Western Caves. It's that west, there's nothing there. That's it. These caves may predate 12, um, 1272. That's it. That's what we're dealing with. That's a ghost. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. Well, guys, that's the end of the exploration down in the caves. We're going to go into a small room now and uh, sit on some benches to call out. It's the centre of all the caves, so hopefully we hear something. And Just see the sand on your back. What do you reckon, Steph? Yeah, it's messy. Not the sand. Oh, what are you on about? The, the ghost hunt we're about to do. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. He just, he just re-put the sand back on. <laughs> re-put. The Gruff's just gone to the toilet, he's left me down here on my own in the caves. First time you've ever done the cave, um, any kind of cave system ever, and it's pretty cool that we get to walk around and check all this out all on our own and film and just show you guys what we see, experience, feel. Um, we have just had like a little tour around one section, um, and like I say, it's cool, it's pretty nice, but you know, is it haunted? Well, there's plenty of reports that it is haunted, but. We're going to keep recording, we're going to keep showing you exactly what we see. The explore ended very, very abruptly. Um, abrupt, abruptly? Abruptly. The explore ended pretty fast. Um, <laughs> we actually thought, we thought the tunnels were a lot bigger than they were, but... You can't say that. What was it, abruptly? Abrupt. You know, you turn around and it's like, abruptly. Yeah. Abruptly. Yeah, abruptly, and then you said it. It's one of the mouthful ones, I know. No, and then you turn around and he goes, 
any pretty fast. <laughs> I think the pretty fast runs better. Yeah. So yeah, the, the tour ended very, very quickly, pretty fast. Um, abrupt. Abrupt. The tour was abrupt. Um, they're not as big as we thought there was going to be. I, we was ex- I was expecting something like Drake Lowe Tunnels uh, kind of style. Well, did you see that picture? Yeah. Do you know the big one where it looked like a massive hall yeah, underneath? Like hall, yeah. Where's that? Nothing. But what we found, Griff's found us a place to kind of sit and chill. And we're going to call out. We've gone into the, gone into the dark because the night vision can handle this. And yeah, we're just going to check on our senses, see if anything comes around us. And we can capture any kind of paranormal poltergeist activity for you guys. I'm really good at finding places to sit. Um, well, it's your forte, eh? It, it is, it's one of my uh, specialities in the uh, paranormal. <laughs> where to sit, where to get food. <sighs> Nearly getting beat up outside. Three lads. It was eight o'clock. Oh, no. You don't expect that kind of behaviour till one. Look what Boris is doing to us. Yeah. So you know, oh, we better get the fight in before nine. Yeah. The PlayStation at ten, yeah. and then I'm I'm sound for the night because they won't let me out after ten. Anyway, spirits of Nottingham cave system. We've got a device there. Have you got stuff set up? Yeah, I've just got the device. I've got the Mel Rem, and it's a green light with a silver spike kind of sticking out the top of it. If you go close to it, spirit. It should activate, make a sound, make a noise for us. Show us that you're here, that we're communicating with someone, something. So please don't be afraid. What's happened, Jace? You seen something? No, I'm just going to see if I can see something via camera link. Okay. So I've got this camera pointing down the small cave system right in front of me. Um, I've got it on full beam. Um, and we'll see if we can get anyone popping the little heads round the corner. If we have any gremlins, goblins, fairies, yeah. you know, any of that type of stuff. They might just pop around to see us. But there is a device in the door well where the steel door is. It's got a green light on it. Um, it's called a Melrem. And it detects if any spirits are close to us. So if there are any spirits that are close to us, that are in this little cave system under Nottingham City, could you walk towards the green light that you see in the room that we're talking from? Was that you? It's just this floor. Because that was really weird. Look, if you if you it just sounded like someone stepped. Look at it. It's, oh yeah. It's crazy. It was like a... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was me. Was it you? But the thing is, I, it was just me like kind of rocking. Oh. Didn't, didn't even move. It was just like me literally keeping, trying to stand up. Could you walk towards us, please? Walk to the sound of our voices. Walk towards us in any way that you can. Or could you shout? Here they come, Chase. It's like a plane, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite relaxing down there. It's like... You can hear, like, little noises. Yeah. Like, I've been hearing, like, a... Have you? I'm presuming that's like running water or something. Um, because we are in a cave system under a city that's active, as you can hear. Um, but we need something prominent down here in this building with us, in these caves, slash buildings. It's like footings of buildings. and yeah. It's like a mismatch of a lot of stuff, isn't it? It and is. It kind of... <clears throat> these caves kind of look like a film set. Yeah. Because... Don't even feel real. It's kind of like... There's bricks on top of foundations and... Yeah. Could you make your way out of your cesspit? 
Oh, the cesspit is down there. Yeah. Get out of the cesspit, come towards us. Stop being lazy. What was cesspit used for? I don't really know. Because I just knew. Cesspit's him. like disgusting water or something. Well, when I was a kid, my mum used to throw the insult at me. They were just like, get out of your bed, get out of your cesspit. Yeah. You know, because we're just rotting in bed. Maybe it's just where they threw the dead then, maybe. It sounds something like that, like dead carcass animals chucked yeah. in there. And, if you could, know. guys, uh, let us know I mean, we down could in the comments. We, could, we could. But I want, I, want, I want to say what these people... What is a cesspit? What do you call these people? Well, I don't, I don't know if they are. Could be any kind. No discrimination here. <laughs> Hello there. These people... <laughs> These good people, we could say these good people. Exactly, these fine... These fine people that we have watching us. Tell us what a cesspit is, yeah. because we're fucking from all around. So. And see, and let us know if any of your parents threw that insult to you. Could you come this way, please? Could you walk across that bridge and come towards me and Griff? We mean you no harm, we just want to capture you on camera. Well, is there a brick? Oh yeah, throw the brick. Yeah. I'm gonna throw all the ones on in a sec. So I'm gonna throw this, could you throw it back? Throw that back, please. I can smell fire. Can you? Yep. I can smell like fire burning. Like, um. Like, do you know, like, like wood fire had just been extinguished? Yeah. I can smell that. What do you get from this place? Do you feel anything? Um. No. I don't. We have decided to split up. We weren't getting anything in that room. So we are gonna kind of go our separate ways. Griff's gonna to go to the farthest end of the cave. I'm gonna to go to the other far end um, so we don't contaminate each other's footage or long investigation. So I'm gonna go back to the air raid section. Um, and hopefully we can see if we can kind of get any kind of paranormal activity. Oh my God, look at that. It looks like hair. Looks vile. Like the ring. It's about to rebirth. You see that? That's actually in the water. That's water, that is. That's just resting on top. It could be like some old clothing, but it does look pretty horrible. This is where I'm going to do my Alarm vigil, I'll keep the lights on for a bit. So obviously they used to do air raids and stuff down here. Hello? All right, I'm currently on my own in the caves, in the cave system. It's uh, very dark and I've put the night vision on because I just feel like something might happen in the dark rather than in the light, so here I am. Um, there's a set of stairs behind me just there, a few more caves just around the corner. 
Um, and sort of think that, that what you're hearing there is just a car going over. But let's see if we can get something calling out. So I'm going to get the K2 meter out. So I'm going to put it on the table over there. And um, I'm going to call out and see if we can get anything to come towards me. What the hell is that? I don't know if it was a trick of my eyes, but where I'm going to zoom into, if it'll let me have it. Do I need to... No, it's up max. God, what the fuck was that? Could have been a rat, maybe. Like, where I'm pointing. Just like there. Like, just went... Phew. The fucking camera wasn't on me. It was on me, like a twat. So, just down there, I don't know if you can see it, but just there, can you see it? Just on the floor, I've put the Melbourne. Spirits of the Nottingham Caves, if you can hear my voice, my name is Jason. I'm willing to talk to you on this occasion. For any of you that feel lonely, for any of you that feel upset, have a K2 meter set up over the way from me on another bench. This just detects whether you're in the area with me, it's actually reads EMF, which is electromagnetic field, which is what you are supposed to be made out of. So the closer that you go to the K2 meter that's sitting in front of me, the more it will go off. So if you would be so kind to just listen to me, could you go and sit on that bench? Go and sit on that little table opposite me. I'm a six foot five bloke. And I've managed to sit on one. So, could you do that for me please? Do you make yourself known, please, spirit? Can you give me a sign? Them stones that me and Griff threw earlier on Is it possible to throw it back? Hello? Throw that stone at me. Throw it back. I'm not afraid. Only here to communicate, to contact, to show the world that you're real. Please come forward. 
You can scare me if you want. I don't mind. Just shout for me once. I just heard like a no. Like a no. It was over this way. It was like a no. I don't know if you heard that on the on the, the mic. Stay. I can hear walking. Up those stairs. I'm going. I'm going up there. Could you show yourself as a ball of light? Yeah? Hello? Chase! Oh god. Where's he gone? I think he stays there. Hello? Hello? Is he just shouting? Yeah. What's up? I thought he was you walking up there. Up where? Where you are now. Here? Yeah, yeah. No, man, I was, um... You know where the what do you call it? The yeah. now the bridge raid shelter. Yeah, but like before the air raid shelter, like you know the bridge where we. I threw she a, was all the way around there. I was there, yeah. Well, I heard walking just up where you are. Do you think the camera would have picked it? I hope so, but I also heard a. Hmm. No, so I was on the other. I was on the total opposite side. So I hope that the camera picked it up. Mm hmm. I saw you, because I walked up there looking, and I saw you walking down, and I was like, oh, it stays there, so I just thought, forget it. No, I was literally at the, that bridge. I'll just check you back on the camera, then. So Griff, uh, thought he heard someone walking just down the bottom of there. He thought he was me, but I was actually in a totally different area, so that was pretty interesting. Hopefully the camera would have picked it up. I've been down here for a little bit now and I heard like walking I think and I heard like a uh, noise. The K2 hasn't gone off. Um, but I'm just going to keep calling out I think. Could you whisper to me then? Just come and whisper in my ear. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Louder. Louder. Don't stop. Tell me what you want. Keep trying. God loves a trier. What happens when we close our eyes for the last time? So we've been investigating down here in the caves for well over an hour and from my perspective nothing has happened I haven't felt anything, I haven't seen anything, none of the equipment has gone off um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the cave section right now and we're going to head over to the main building 
which is Nottingham's justice uh, centre. So it used to be an old courthouse where they used to sentence a lot of people to death. Um, we're going to go down into the, some of the cave section there, and um, the bits where they actually beat up a lot of the prisoners and you know destroy the kneecaps and all that good stuff. So we're going to go down there. We're going to check out some of that place, investigate the main building, and hopefully we can pick up. Um, something there you know because this has kind of been a bit flat for us but let's see how it goes you know um yeah we're gonna head to the main building right now so yeah see you in a sec